What's up everybody, it's Keisha Kadan with three tips for tools in three minutes. So this time I'll be giving you three tips for making your online videos pop. So three tips in three minutes, let's just get going. One thing you wanna remember when thinking about making your videos pop is lights, camera, action. So let's start with lights. I'm just showing a couple of the lights that I have. One is a ring light that you just clip to your iPad, your iPhone. The other is just a big light that gives off a bunch of light. You can screw it into a tripod actually and just project and it comes with an orange filter to kind of soften the light but you want to just have as much light as possible because it just makes a huge difference and it will allow your video to look better generally. So I decided to do just a little experiment to show you what the lights do. Um, so this First is the little ring light that I showed you that you can clip on to your computer or cell phone. It's called a selfie light and it's really just designed to give you a little bit of light um, directly on your face while you're shooting. As you can see, so I'm just messing around with it to show you kind of what it looks like and then that's what it looks like without a light. Now I'm going to show you the big flood type light that I have. I usually use this on a tripod and just use it to just kind of really blow out whatever I'm shooting. Um, you can turn it up or down, the brightness up or down. Um, but as you can see, you can point it and make it so that it will light whatever your intended target is. And it is easy to use, it doesn't cost much, and it really will make a difference, especially as you are editing when you finish. So I also have this big light, I think it's called the Diva Ring Light. Um, it is an amazing light. Um, you can't go wrong with it. It has, of course, this little spot for you to stick your phone to record, and it provides the biggest light ever. I also have to give it up for natural light, sunlight. If you can record under natural light, it is the best option of them all. I want to share with you the other things that I recommend to make your online videos pop. Now remember we talked about lights. I also said camera and action. Um, so as it relates to camera, I generally use my iPad or my iPhone. Um, whatever cell phone or tablet you have, the camera on it is probably great just to record your online videos. Um, if you really stand to get into video production, there are some cameras I would recommend. I do have video cameras also, but um, just to get the size of the video you need in order to be optimal for YouTube or for social media, you really can stick with a consumer level iPhone, iPad, um, Samsung camera uh, because the video output will be just what you need to make it easy to upload and share if that is your intention. Well, that's it. Three tips to make your online videos pop. I cannot wait to see your new videos. Feel free to drop your YouTube channel or a link in the comments so I can check you out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you. I'll see you soon. So for the sake of time, I ended up editing a piece out of this video on sound and lights and more about the camera output. If you're interested in that, it is up on a bonus video on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check it out for more details on the lights and the mics for making your videos pop. Thanks.